Happy Thursday morning, everybody. It's Sarah bringing you another day in the life today. Finally, on Thursday, I am going to the bins for the first time this week. But I can't be sour about it because yesterday my daughter was sick. And you know what? That's one of the benefits of reselling. I just listed whatever I had left. So if you'll follow me over here to my very clean office. I did it. It took me three days. But I listed everything I have. That all needs still to be put away, but I did it. Say hi, Roxy. <laughs> she says no. Um, so I am going to get myself a protein shake at a local business. I've got some snacks, my purse, two orders going out today, a pair of Converse sneakers, and boy, that might be the top sale of the week. Can't wait to show you guys that one. Um, got my phone charger. Oh my gosh, I need something to drink. I'm going to pack of water. And yeah, just follow along with me today, guys, and then we'll do a haul at the end and I'll show you what I picked up. I went to shoes because before noon they are 99 cents a pound which is awesome so I picked up a bunch of kids shoes for consignment and I will show you as I'm loading up in the truck and then I'm gonna go in for round two I told the lady and look for clothes next it is about 1130 hang on I'm trying to find the key and I literally not that pocket skated by and I always remind them when I go to the checkout, I get the 99 cents per pound, right? And she's like, oh, you sure did. So, all right, let me show you what I got. All right, so first, I don't know if these were on sale or not, but got a couple of good purses. I'm probably gonna send all these to thread up. Wish I had my trunk instead of this car. I don't know what this is, anybody? But, and then this Ann Klein purse was really cute. But yeah, these are all kids' shoes. Again, I love finding little cowboy boots, even though they're scuffed up, they work great. And then, I mean, look at, let me see, Isaac, these Nayote sandals, pair of Tevas. I've never found the match for those, and these are my favorite. So I paid $20 for everything here and these purses. So, all right, I'm headed back in to get more. All right, I'm headed back home. I think I've done enough damage. I spent about $90 today between the shoes, everything in the cart. I picked up some books for summer because I like to have my kids do like worksheets and keep their brains motivated and got some for consignment and stuff too but I'll show you what I got when I get home all right everybody I made it back home grab a snack grab a drink because this is one of the biggest Goodwill outlet hauls I have had in a long time I've got me a Dr. Pepper to sit here um, I will tell you guys what I'm sending where and I'm just gonna let you know I hit the torrid mother load so if you are interested in plus size clothing and clothing and see anything that you like, 
send me a message on Facebook or comment below. All prices are negotiable, you know, as long as I'm making a profit. I only found a few things for ourselves today, which is fine. And oh my God, I'm just so excited. So let's just cut the crap and jump right in so you guys can see what I picked up. Um, so this unfortunately was a fossil bag. But I just got home and noticed this, so garbage for that one. I'm going to send these purses to thread up. This is the brand I showed you in the cart, Joy Mangano. Let's see, are you leather? What are you? Hey, it's 100% leather. Maybe I need to look that one up. It's a good size bag, too. But I don't know, probably thread up. Not really good at selling purses unless they're western style bohemian something like that thread up goodbye this i'm going to send to thread up it's just an ann coin bag but i like the cutouts good size interior looks pretty clean so thread up i found this little baby fossil it's cute Again, pretty decent interior, but it is missing the crossbody strap. Thread up. Thread up really likes these Vera Bradley from the little backpack, which is super cute. I don't know, I've heard the backpacks do well. And please, if anybody wants any of this before I send it out to thread up or take it to consignment again, let me know. And then another. I might keep this. <laughs> Another one of those Joy Mangano. Mangano, yeah. Really cute. I like the blue for spring, right? Let's see, zipper on the back. No, no, Roxy. She's got to smell everything when I bring it home. And the cat was already <laughs> all in the bags, too. Look out, Rox. Okay, then I found a Vans off the wall hat. It has foam inserts, so I don't know if this is old or not. Um, I'll probably use Google Lens and sell this one myself. I guess I'll just put those on the table. And I'm just going to grab for the nearest bag, so bear with me. Um, just a little, this is cute. Jessica Simpson sleeper. Um, okay. I have to fix the zipper on that before I take it. So I'll set it over here. This is a Chaps blazer. That'll be going to thread up. A Forever 21. I'm gonna go quick, guys. Little crop top. That's going to consignment. Um, a Tahari tank top. And it's just polyester, but Tahari does well on thread up. Hmm. This has little elbow patches, and I didn't know this brand. I'm going to mark this to look this up, but otherwise it is going to thread up. It's kind of fall anyways. You know what, thread up. I'm not going to waste too much time here. Okay, end of bag one, and I picked this up for myself. It's Calvin Klein performance I told you I don't dress up so that goes in the me pile and let me bag one gone okay next bag plus size this is Alicia Passini made in Italy size 1x and it's this linen 100% linen coral kind of midi dress. Selling that myself. Again, plus size does very well for me. And wait, so you see everything I picked up. This is the brand BB. 
I picked this up for consignment because it has like an American flag cutout on the back. This is going to, I miss my kids being this small. Kids consignment. Okay, I don't have a pile for that yet. You can go right there. Um, let's see. This very pretty top. It's just Shein, but consignment stores have been taking those. Lightweight, very cute. This, I think, is this Charming Charlie or something? I don't know, it says 22, 24, kind of a gauzy ombre top. You could wear it on the shoulder or off the shoulder. I'll have that one for sale myself. I have another little um, Burt's Bees baby, cute. Little consignment. I found a lot of shoes for baby consignment today, so more than clothes. This is just child of mine. Anything with animals on it I like to pick up. This is Max Studio Merino Wool. Kind of like a ruffle front cardigan. That'll go to thread up. Skies are blue, which I think is a Stitch Fix brand. This will go to consignment. A little boxy top. All right, I found several pieces by this athletic brand, and I feel like I've heard of this, so please, in the comments below, let me know. Pearl Azumi. Anybody into biking or anything? Well, I found some biker shorts. Padded biker shorts. These are a size small. This is myself. Just a little casual top for moi. I hardly ever find stuff for myself, so this has been nice. This I'm going to bundle because this is quiet. Don't you bark at the cat. This is Isabel Maternity, Mama's Little Sunshine, and there's another tank top in here that I'm going to bundle the two together. A little Talbot's yellow vest. That'll go to thread up. They like them from Talbot's. This is so cute. I've sold this exact shirt before. It is Lane Bryant. <laughs> Beach sleep repeat. And it's like ombre. Selling that myself. Torrid Great Minds Drink Alike. So this is a size large. I'm going to keep a separate pile for Torrid because literally there's so much in here. I'm really curious about what I'm, how many I got all together. Um, Livy by Olivia Ray. Cute little rouge top. That'll go to consignment. Oh, just another little sweatshirt. I like the back of this for myself. With leggings, leggings, and more leggings. All right, another Torrid 1X. Kind of this gauzy purple tank top. That makes the Torrid count at two. Ding, ding. Maybe I'll put the number on the screen. Oh, another cute little top for myself. I never find anything for myself. I'm so excited. Um, this is just Old Navy. But it is an extra, extra large um, little tank. That'll go to consignment. This is the Favorite Tea by American Eagle. That will be going to consignment. I found, I don't know, I've never heard of this brand. The Zigzag Stripe size so extra large. Eh, picked it up for myself. This, I have no idea what it is. I should have looked this up before I left. Ma Mosca? I don't know. Anybody know this? I have to look it up. Okay. Toward count number three. 2X. I love this olive green color. 
like this little baby doll top. And anybody local to me, I picked this up because I know prom is coming up. At least here in Ohio. And I found a plus size dress. It's really pretty. It's kind of ombre, sparkle, it has a slit. If you know of a girl that's plus size in need of a dress, because we all know it is hard to find clothes for plus size girls, please let me know. I'm happy to really give somebody a deal for somebody in need. I hate to see anybody go without because they don't feel pretty enough to go to prom. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff. <laughs> ah, these are just a pair of Nike dry fit short size large. Those usually sell for 12 to 15. This cropped Sprite shirt. It is new with tags. $39.95. Send that to consignment. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is just Zienna, Zienna Premium Extra Large, but I found myself this really comfortable popcorn cardigan in my favorite color, the olive green. And I found myself another shirt in rust. It's only supposed to be like in the low 50s, so. Okay. This is the tour pack. These are cute. This is J. Crew, not J. Crew Factory. They are size 12. And they're like a wide leg khaki crop trouser with a tie. Sell those myself. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Again, any of my plus size girls want any of this? Please let me know. This is Torrid size 1X. And it's like a cage tank top gauzy material. That makes four. Oh. Forever 21. Tropical little top that'll go to consignment. Quiet. Forever 21. This is a romper. Meaning it has shorts. Consignment. This is Torrid 3X. Very colorful rainbow button up shirt. One, two, three, four, number five. Torrid 2X. This olive green cardigan. Oh, let's see what's that out. Number six. Torrid 2X. Another Torrid. <laughs> Tell me, buckle up. 2X, this floral baby doll top with a tie. What is that, seven? Oh my God, how can I? I need caffeine. What are you doing? You want on the camera? Come here. Say hi to Rosie. Anybody else have a calico cat with a bad attitude? <laughs> okay, Forever 21. Consignment. This I might actually keep. It's new with tags. I didn't see that. It's an extra, extra large. It has like a cutout back ombre tank top. That could be really cute with like cropped leggings for myself. I'm going to keep that. It's hard to find summer stuff. For us big girls too. Why? Because I sweat and everything. Time to get real. Okay. Okay. What are we up to on toward seven? Here's number eight. This is a size large tank. Eight. This is a Lucky Brand top. New with tags for $69.50. Roxy lay down. Size large. We'll sell that myself since it's new with tags. I'll just use keywords like peasant, boho. I am going to be busy. Okay. Uh, this is just Sonoma. Another waffle knit top for myself. 
Oh my god, I bought myself a lot. Okay, this is an older tag, White House Black Market, size four. I'll be sending that to thread up. It's 100% silk though. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to sell this myself first, because it is silk. I did not know that before, even though it's older. Another Tahari. Ellie Tahari does better than this brand. Another polyester tank. Thread up. Oh, here's the other. Maternity Extra Large. They'll go in that other bundle with the sunshine. Happy Mama. Very cute. Summer coming up. Ooh, you thought you were hot when you're plus size. Try being plus size and pregnant a while back. You guys, I still have four more bags. Please caffeinate. Get a snack. Okay. Matthew is getting a really awesome cowboy hat. Like I said, I didn't really find them a whole lot today. I found one really pretty bra. This is Cassique 42 Double D. And I love this. I do well with bras. Especially plus size. Look how pretty. Sell that myself. This is Chap. Oh, no, not Chaps. Lauren. Ralph Lauren. I will send that to Thread Up. We have Kids Consignment. Kids consignment. This is blankets and beyond. This little cute little silky guy. And I found another. Oh, this one has a rattle. Aww. This one is Falls Creek Baby, but they might still buy it. We have really. She has to be in everything. This was cute with the little pockets. Okay. A little baby bear. Consignment. Kids consignment. Kids consignment. Gonna cruise through. I don't know what this one. I may sell this myself. This is a 1X. Maybe I'll keep it for myself. Chaps. Fringy boho. Southwestern. I might sell it myself. And if not, I can always send it to Thread Up later, right? This is, I recognize this print right away. Shein size 2XL. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, so I forgot to turn my notifications off. And we have another kids consignment. Number eight, size 4X. It is short sleeve pocket tee. Somebody tied it in the front. That's right. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that was number nine. We're up to nine on Torrid. This is just a comfortable. T-shirt for myself. Ooh, yeah. This you saw in one of my What Sold videos. Very cute cardigan by a logo Lori Goldstein. It's sold on like QVC, but it does have a following. I forgot what number on. Nine? <laughs> Ten. Two X. I have a baseball tee, these floral sleeves. Another pair of the Pearl Izumi biking capris. These are size small. 
Hmm, this has a run in it, but it'll be okay. Another Pearl Izumi. Size small, so it must have come from all the same person. Biking gear with the pocket in the back. So it has a little run right here, but that's okay. Okay, another logo, Lori Goldstein. This one's a size large. Button front, pockets. And it has like a lace trim. Y'all, I'm going to be busy. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to need to go back to the bins. Like, maybe I only need to go like once a week, which would be great. Because in the summertime when the kids are out of school, better use of my time. Okay, 11. What number are we on? <laughs> Torrid 2X. This is a pretty top. Ties, baby doll. Very cute. Number 12. I told you. And let me tell you something. I don't know what all these people are looking for when they're in the bins, but I wasn't even in any new rows. These were, like, once you find one good thing in a bin, take your time in that bin because there's usually more, as you can see. This is cute. This is a size 3X. It is brand new with tags. Retailed for $48.90. That is cute. 12? What are we on? I don't even know. But guess what? It keeps going. 13? <laughs> 2X? I'm not even going to guess. Another baby doll top, floral, and at least it's all in season. I may not pick up sweaters and stuff. This may be the last one. So 14, this is the Torrid 1X. Okay, so it's a short sleeve sweater. Is it? Maybe it's long. It's lightweight though. Like this mauve pink color. See anything wrong with it? Yeah, so like 13, 14, 15 pieces of Torrid. Again, plus size ladies, if you need clothes, please hit me up. Like, I get it. All right, now shout out to Nicole State. Love or hater, I don't care. I'm proud of her for coming back on YouTube. You know what? We all make mistakes and life goes on. So you go, girl. But Nicole has been picking up books for consignment, and these were 39 cents a pound at my Goodwill outlet. So I did get some for our, ourselves. First of all, when we're here on summer break, can you go outside? You're not getting any more cookies. Wish you guys could see this face and these ears. Let me finish, and then you can go outside. Okay? Okay. Good girl. Sit. Oh, here she goes. Oh, okay. We're coming in. Look. You want to say hi? Come here. You want to say hi? Hang on, guys. Well, there you go. Say hi. Hey. You want outside? You want to go outside? Okay. Come on. We'll go outside. All right. I'll be back in a minute. How many times can we stop and start this video? But that's... Such is life. Okay, so in the summertime, when, okay, I'm going to move that up a little bit. You guys don't need to see all of this. In the summertime when I'm home with my kids, I like to keep their brain power flowing. So I was happy to find a couple of different workbooks for them because then I don't have to print them out online. Matthew will be in second grade, and these, like, aren't marked up at all. This was a $20 book. And it has math, reading, reading comprehension, English, and writing in here. Everything you need for second grade success. So, we'll be busy this summer. I also picked up... Oh, I know there's another one in here. Okay. My daughter just turned 10 and she loves Diary of a Whippy Kid. We checked out a book from the library last week. And... The rest of these, I'm going to try a consignment because I've not done that yet. So, what's the best way to learn? Start small, try it out, see if it works. So, I'll go through these quickly. 
consignment. The Tail of Peter Rabbit. And what I, I just checked to make sure there wasn't any writing. Like if it was like, Dear Sarah, love grandma. I put that back. No one else wants to buy a book. I Spy with Numbers. And Matthew, Matthew and Annabelle, my kids. Annabelle's 10, Matthew is 7. They're both like-minded to their dad who's very mathematical very matter of fact so they're doing great with math and science in school but the reading is needs improvement okay so some of these i might keep for matthew let's take the bus matthew where'd your cowboy hat go boy there it is consignment tractor pop-up peekaboo this is so cute. Look at this. Meow. Matthew loves tractors, but it's kind of a baby book for him. My Grandma is Great. Keep that one for Matthew, I think. I found a magic school bus. Brings back memories. Disney Princess Storybook Collection. Uh, I might keep this one for Matthew. I don't want to go to bed. Um, Brayer Rabbit Down the Well. Is that easy reading or, oh yeah, Matthew can read that one. And you know what, once he's done reading them, I can still take him to consignment. This one brought back memories. This was the first book as a kid that I actually enjoyed reading because no one like made me read it. And then, you know, they made a movie out of it and it wasn't anything like I thought it was in my head. But who remembers the BFG as a kid? I think I still have mine in my nightstand upstairs. And I read this book as a kid like two or three times. I just love this book. I wish my kids loved it as much as I do. I don't think they've read it. Dear Zoo. One of those lift the flap books. He was too big. I sent him back. Very heavy. It's an elephant. Can you peel the things down? Soon, soon, baboon. Mm, let's see. I'll send that one. Okay, and then I picked up one toy to take to one son a child. <laughs> Just throwing it everywhere. And I picked it up because it is Melissa and Doug. And it's this little thing where you move the cars into the different stations. And yeah, like a little sensory toy, so... Love that. Has some little kid's name on it, but I'm back, but I don't think he'll care. Ages three and up. Doesn't have an original price, but sliding wood pieces won't get lost. Sturdy wood construction and colorful graphics. And they also have it available on a farm. Hmm. Matthew likes farm. So consignment. <sighs> I'm tired already. <laughs> All right. And I only have like half hour before the kids get off the bus. This is what I mean. Reselling is fun, but please understand this is a job. So if you're thinking about selling stuff online watching these videos, you can take it one of two ways. One, you're trying to casually make money for a vacation. For, well, Jack and Ryan on YouTube, Debbie, she bought new counters for her kitchen by selling on Poshmark. Like you either have a very specific goal or you are all in like I am. Like I said, I mean, you guys saw I left at like 8.30 this morning and here it is almost 4 o'clock and I'm just now finishing up. And guess what? Then after that, there's still dishes, laundry, baths, homework. Like, this is an all-day adventure. And even when I'm not out shopping, I'm still listing all that stuff behind me. Well, not today. All right, now we're on to shoes. I'm excited for shoes. I think this is the bag of I'm going to sell myself. Let's see if I can pair them up. Yeah. Okay. First up, I found, and I've never been able to find the match. Oh, my God. Does it have a size? Yes. Size 11, a pair of Teva sandals. Brand I've never found. Thank you so much. I guess I'll set those on the floor. 
pair of boots. I know these are out of season, but I picked them up because they say made in Brazil on the bottom, which usually means they're expensive. Size eight and a half. And these are, I can't remember what brand they are. Hang on, hang on. Matisse, I feel like I've heard that brand. Leather boots. Those will do well. Oh, no, put them down here so they don't get dirty. These I am pumped about because these are basically brand new. And I told you guys I love selling cowgirl boots. And these are the exp <gasps> Are you missing the chip? Okay, well, apparently I'm going to have to cut it off that one because this one doesn't have it. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mom. Uh, but these are a pair of Dingoes, which is an expensive brand. These are leather boots, size seven and a half. So it'll look like this. Very good condition, though. Okay, then we have, where's the other one? In here somewhere, hang on. There you are. Okay, we have a pair of... Mary Jane style Allegrias. This is a good, uh, similar to Dansko. These are leather size 38, which I think is what, eight and a half, nine. Those will do well. I'm excited about these. I found a pair of Mephistos. Never found these either. And I've heard even if the footbed is kind of nasty, stuff like Burke stocks will still sell where's the size these are size eight if anyone is interested very cute size eight not my size now with that in mind I did find a pair of Birkenstocks never found them yeah they're worn but the heel you know you're supposed to do this like see one pair I found they were like this <laughs> These are decent. And these might fit Annabelle. They're a size 35. She loves these style shoes. Or I may just be mean and not tell her I bought them. Shh, maybe she'll watch this video. Then these are really cute. A pair of Isaac Mizrahi little sandals. These are for the dance shoe, size eight and a half. If anyone's interested, these are very cute for summer. Love those. These I'm probably sending to thread up. Very cute little pair of pumps. Scallop edges. They're older, but they're Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, size six, looks like. Yeah, I'll send those to thread up. Yeah, I mean, they take back. Oh, sorry. Bags, shoes, purses. These I like because they're a little bit lower. These are Cole Haan. Patent leather. Mini wedges, right? Like, who wants to wear that tall stuff anymore? These are size seven and a half. And looks like they were originally at some point $100. I could sell those. Okay, then we have... These gold metallic sandals. These are the brand Nayot. Nayot. Mm, size 40. Okay. I might need help with these ones. I still have to look them up. I was happy to find the match. Very cute pair of booties for starters. And they are made in Colombia. They have European sizing, size 36. What is that? Seven, seven and a half. St Hang on. S T I V A. S T I V A. L? Hang on. L L. L I. S T I V A L I. Stivali? Anybody? Whoops. Shoot. Ringing a bell? 
for anybody. I don't know. These are adorable. I'm listing those myself, even though they're out of season. Then, for all of my Depop youngins, I found these really awesome Steve Madden red platform sneakers. These are great. Look, in, out, in, out, the dog. These are, what size are you? Made in Spain. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I hope the tag didn't wear off. I think it did. Oh, wait. Skew. Okay, I may have to measure these. What do we get on the back, even? I don't know. These are cool. I'm not cool. The shoes are cool. All right. One bag left. And then it's time for mommy business. Because the kids will be getting off the bus. With, speaking of kids, here come all the kids' shoes. These are just a pair of Wonder Nation. These are all going to consignment. None of these will fit my kids. Uh, here, uh, another Wonder Nation. Where is Wonder Nation sold? Coles or something? These are cute. We have... I tried to pick up a bunch of little sandals. Children's place. Another sandal. I'm going to go fast. Another pair of sandals. Uh, these I'll sell myself. These are Old West. Whoa. <laughs> Cowboy boots, look how cute. Whoop. Little baby boots. Uh, another pair of sandals. Oh, please look at this. These are just basic edition, but I thought these were really cute. With that floral strap. Consignment. Consignment, consignment. Little pair of jumping bean sandals. These are, what are you? <laughs> Cherokee, like little espadrilles. Good condition. Even though it's not like a high-end brand. But. Children's Place. More pink. A little pair of these. Kind of look like Tevas almost. Tevas or um, one of the Keens. Another pair of kids' sandals. Sandals, sandals, sandals. Uh, Cat and Jack. More pink glitter. Apparently that was a trend. Look at these little shoes by Carter's. These are adorable. <laughs> I wish my daughter wore girly stuff again. She does not. A pair of Converse. I know they'll take those. These are cute also. These are, oh, done. Okay, a pair of the brand Blowfish. And these are just like slip-ons. Yeah, Blowfish. Floral. We're almost done. We're almost done. Oh, and then I have a blanket too. These are Madden for girls. Sneakers. I don't know where this other shoe is that I have in my lap. Okay, a pair of Children's Place purple sandals. A pair of Miley U. Are these Mini Melissa? They look like Mini Melissa's. If you've ever heard that brand. Same those. Here it is. These are Oshkosh. Glittery coupons. More sandals. <laughs> You know, it's that time of year. These are this is memory foam, Wonder Nation, little ballet flat. These are cute. These are Carter's. These are children's place. I left all the granimals behind this time. I learned my lesson. I don't think they take those. These are really cute. I don't know what brand these are. But they have like here on the inside the little loafers. All man made US small size six. So 
Hmm. We'll see if they take them. Brat, someone must have got into my cart while I was using the bathroom because how? I have one keen and one sandal left. Take it. Don't pee with a full cart. So, that's all I have of that. I guess I'll go in the trash. Dang it, I wanted to sell those keen. And then, last but not least, I always find a blanket to cover up my cart at this Goodwill. We're almost there, folks. We're almost there. This. Come on, where's the tag? Biderlac of America made in USA using domestic and imported yarn. It's just acrylic polyester, but it's like a Navajo print. So I saw some of these selling for 50 to a hundred dollars. So I'm like, well, it did its job today. I will try to sell that myself. So, quite the mess going on here. If you've stuck around, please make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed everything I picked up. Again, if you're interested in anything, I've literally spent $90 today. Like, I can make deals on stuff. But at least I have everything sorted now, stuff I'm keeping. There's the thread up. There's the consignment. There's the kids' consignment. Oh, I'll definitely have a full bag for kids' consignment. Shoes. Stuff to list myself. How many toilet pieces did we have? Like 14, 15? Just crazy. People were leaving that behind. So I will catch you guys again in the next one. Thanks.